It is 6.01 right now. There's new questions this morning about the night two men were charged with assaulting a Baltimore City Police Sergeant. Now, part of this incident, which happened back in January, was caught on that officer's body worn camera. Video of the incident was released last week, and now the attorneys for the two men that you can see in this video say their clients are the victims of lies from the police department. This is a story that got a lot of attention earlier this year with people kicking that police sergeant while he was down. This morning, the attorneys say there's more proof in police reports about the incident that the officers lied about that case. WMR 2 News' Megan Knight is in downtown Baltimore right now with more on that new evidence. Megan. And Christian, the defense attorney for these two men who are charged with assaulting Baltimore Police Sergeant Simpson say that they are continuing to poke holes in his story about what happened that night. Now, last week we showed you the body camera video that was released by these attorneys from Sergeant Simpson's camera showing that confrontation uh, with that group of people again back in January. That video uh, Simpson initially said did not exist because he said his camera was not on at the time. Uh, Simpson also said in one police report that one of the men, Zayn Abdullah, spit on him, but Abdullah's lawyer says that in a different report, Simpson told his supervisor another story saying that Abdullah started to speak and spittle came out of his mouth. Donnell Burgess is also being charged in this case. His attorney says that Burgess is accused of assaulting Sergeant Simpson, but so far he has not seen any proof of that in any of the videos from that night. He never puts his hand on that officer. He never touches him. He never hits him. He never kicks him in any of the, the videos that I have seen. And all he was doing was helping him. So he, here he is helping his friend who's saying, I can't breathe repeatedly over and over again. And what does that get him? The police commissioner comes out and calls his actions criminal. Now, both attorneys want their clients' cases to be dismissed. The city state's attorney's office sent us the same statement that they did when the body camera video was released last week, saying that they cannot comment on open or pending cases and investigations. And we did reach out to Baltimore police as well. They did not have any comments about the latest accusations being made by these lawyers. All they said is that the body camera video has been sent to the Public Integrity Bureau, which is part of BPD, and looks into any complaints of misconduct that are lodged against police officers. We're live in downtown Baltimore, Megan Knight, WMAR 2 News.